Hello investors, my name is Dehan and welcome back to you know one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three potential altcoins to buy on the dip. So what is going on in the market? In the past 24 hours, the market is up about 0.12%. So right now in the past 24 hours, the top gainer is going to be Clover Finance, which is up about 17%, trading at $1.23. Our highest volume is like usual Bitcoin. So as we see right now, there's a turnaround happening, um, you know, going into um, it's Wednesday morning right now. As you guys can see, Bitcoin is up about 3%, trading at around that 30,600 area. Ethereum is up 6.66%. It's trading at around 1857. We have Binance Coin up about 5%, Cardano up 5%. Doge is actually up about 9.8%, and most of these other altcoins are up between 5 to 10%. Obviously, doing very well right now. We're seeing a little bit of a rebound, which is actually a positive sign, obviously, as um, you know, we saw the stock market actually make a huge rebound after the you know huge crash that we saw on news of that potential Delta variant, you know, fear mongering type situation that we can consistently see from the media and just you know worldwide situations, um, you know. In my opinion, they're trying to make this a bigger thing than it is. And, you know, people start to panic on Monday. Crypto and stock markets sold off a little bit. And then Tuesday, everything kind of boomed back up. And as we can see here, Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning, crypto is starting to bounce back higher. And, you know, we're seeing some rebound, which is definitely a positive sign because if it would have continued to go lower and lower, um, you know, we wanted, might have seen the, this um, bear market type situation continue and get even worse, obviously, as we're already on a downward trend in the past two months. So, this is what's going on right now, guys. Before we get into this countdown, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. We just hit 37,000 subscribers, guys. So thank you for that. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, if you want to sign up for We Will and get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300, links going to be in the description for that as well. Now let's get into it. So the first altcoin is obviously going to be none other than Cardano, also known as ADA. So this one is up about 5.8% from the low that we saw at around a dollar or so, about a dollar and three cents that we saw there. And then obviously here, um, you know, Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning, we've seen this pop happen here from about $1.04 all the way to highs of about 113 right now. It's trading at 112 right now. And if we look here on the one week chart, this coin is down 11%. Obviously on the one month chart, 21%. One year chart, Cardano is still up over 808% from about 12 cents all the way up here to highs of over $2 at around $2.46 actually at one point that we saw there in April, May time period. And then obviously for the past two months, we've been trading sideways with a little bit of a downtrend lately. Um, you know, it's continued to push on lower. Now, obviously, as the large cap coins, uh, you know, whatever the large cap coins do, the mid cap and the small cap coins continue to follow that same pattern. So right now, we're seeing the market, you know, rebound a little bit here, and pretty much all the altcoins start to rebound as well. And usually, if Bitcoin is up 2%, most of these altcoins are going to be up between 5 to 10% or so. You know, they go up more compared to the large cap coins. So whatever Bitcoin does, the altcoins do a little bit better, which is obviously something that, you can play with a strategy, um, you know, if you if you think that Bitcoin's going to go up soon, you could get some of these altcoins and make some decent gains. So right now, the market cap on Cardano is at $33.8 billion, uh, you know, dropped down from that $70 billion uh, area that we saw in May. Obviously, volume in the past 24 hours at $1.8 billion, circulating supply, 32 billion coins. So Cardano is a blockchain platform built on a proof-of-stake consensus protocol that validates transactions without high energy costs. Now, development on Cardano uses the Haskell programming language, which is described as enabling Cardano to pursue evidence-based development for unparalleled securities and st uh, stability. The blockchain's native token, ADA, is named after uh, the mathematician. So you guys all know, we continue to talk about this dip, and obviously we're waiting to see if the dip would continue or if we'd see a little bit of a rebound. Now, obviously, a one-day rebound does not mean anything. We could continue to go into another you know, downtrend going into the weekend, obviously. So we have to be very, very careful what's going to happen in the next few days if if we're going to see that uh, you know downtrend continue to go down or if we're going to see more consolidation like we've been seeing for the past few months um, you know or maybe even a turnaround so we never know what's going to happen but we're going to keep a very close eye out on it if we see more rona news you know with the delta variant and just you know more information um being talked about in the media um you know we might see a broader sell-off obviously especially in um stock market as well so that is something that we're definitely going to be watching the next few days to see what happens and obviously the next few weeks to see if this Delta variant is going to get any worse. If you guys look actually at the worldwide cases, it depends country to country. Some countries are doing very great. 
there are you know pretty much no cases or very low cases and then some countries are starting to pick up a little bit um, if you guys take a look at the united states it's trying to trend up a little bit as well uh compared to where it was just a few weeks ago but we have to think about you know fourth of july was a huge holiday that we had and a lot of people were out and you know I would, i'm not surprised to see numbers are going up a little bit once again so cardano is going to be the coin that we're going to be watching right now to see how it's going to perform that's our number one pick. The second pick is going to be Polkadot DOT. So this one is actually up about 8%. And usually we don't like to talk about coins that are already, you know, made a huge run on the rebound. But this one is very interesting to us. It was trading at $10.38, went up to about eleven forty-seven right now, making an upward move. Uh, in the past week, it's down 19%. Past month, 44%. And then the past year, it's actually up over 325%. In August of last year, when this coin started trading, it was trading at around $2.90. Here in May, the coin went up to about $50 almost per coin. So Polkadot lost about 75 to 80% of its value since May. Uh, we've continued to go down, and then after this downward trend, we continue to go even lower. And now the next area you're going to be looking out for is obviously around that $8 to $9 area. Uh, we talked about that in uh, one of our other videos that the eight to nine dollar area is going to be a very crucial uh, support area that we're going to be watching with polka dot right now the market cap is at around 10.8 billion it was closer to the 50 billion area just a few months ago volume in the past 24 hours at 878.8 uh, million right there so polka dot is a protocol that enables cross blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset by uniting multiple blockchains polka dot aims to achieve high degrees of security and scalability dot serves as the new protocols governance token and can be used for staking to secure the network or to connect a bond new chain so obviously staking is a huge factor that we like to look at obviously in the crypto market we like to stake because you can you get more coins you get more value to your coins it's in my opinion i compare it to kind of like a cd at a bank where you lock in your money for a certain amount of time and you get a certain amount of percentage back while well, staking i think of it the similar very similar in my opinion or something that you can compare it to to you know uh, make it easier to understand as you're staking those coins uh, for a certain amount of percentage and then obviously you get a different amount of percentage back. So that is uh, something that I actually love about crypto. It's kind of like a dividend, I guess you could say as well. Uh, you know, you're, you're locked in on that percentage. You're going to get that no matter what happens. And then, you know, things go on from there. So that's uh, another thing that's very interesting in the crypto world that I like to we'll talk about, obviously, on this channel and educate you guys on. So now the third coin is going to be Tron. So this one was at lows of about 40 uh, or 4 cents, actually, 4 cents. Or a little bit above four cents, about five cents at one point, and right now it's up about five point two nine percent, trading at point zero five two seven. So this one in the past weeks down eleven percent. If we take a look here on the one month chart, twenty two percent, and then on the one year chart, this coin is up about two hundred percent. So this coin was trading at around almost two cents, so at point zero one eight zero last July, and then here in April we went to about eighteen cents per coin in April sixteenth. We had a little bit of a downtrend, came back up, and then continued to go lower. And now we've been consolidating around this five to six cents area for a while. And we're going to be watching this four and a half cents area for a support level. That should be a strong support to bounce off of about the four and a half cents area. If it goes below that, then it's going to continue to push even lower. Now, market cap on Tron is going to be 3.8 billion, volume in the past 24 hours at 603.2 million, and then the circulating supply at 71.7 .7 billion coins. So, TRX or Tronix is a cryptocurrency running on the Tron blockchain. Its goal is to create a decentralized internet. So, that is the goal with Tron. Very interesting coin. A lot of room for, you know, um, you know, growth in my opinion, obviously, as in the past, we've reached 18 cents. So, the market cap was close to 10 billion market cap, actually. So, you know, I would not be surprised to see Tron continue to do uh, good things in the next few years as things continue to move now obviously you know that also depends on the rest of the crypto market if the rest of the crypto market takes a deep dive down uh you know so will this so they all pretty much follow each other um you know it's kind of like follow the leader whatever the big coins do the rest of them follow suit guys and we've talked about that many many times and you know as always guys uh before we get you know into the rest of this i'm not a financial advisor so this is all for entertainment purposes only so before investing into any crypto or stocks or whatever you're investing in speak to your financial advisor do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're doing because the it's a high risk high reward type situation especially in the crypto market so that is pretty much the three altcoins that we're going to be looking at now let's take a look at how everything else is performing so doge you guys are very interested in this one we hit lows down here about 16 cents and we talked about if it went under 15 cents that's when we would start to worry uh you know bounce back a little bit now to about 18 cents 23.1 billion market cap it's up about 10 percent almost from the low uh, in the past week, it's still down about 10%. Past uh, month, 
35%. And then on the one year chart, obviously, we're up over 5000% as we saw that, you know, huge pump that we saw here going in through, um, you know, beginning of May or so and then the downtrend here, I would not be surprised to see doge under 10 cents in the short term, um, you know, especially if we see a bigger pullback in the crypto space, I think that doge is definitely going to go back to around that 12 to 13 cents area and potentially pulling down to about 10 cents as well. So we're going to be keeping a very close eye on a doge to see how it performs. Obviously, it's going to follow the rest of the market. So Ethereum up about 6.66%, 1857 right now. Hit lows of about 1718 on Tuesday. And then continue to make a little bit of a recovery. 216 billion market cap. But like we said, guys, just because it's recovering right now, this could you know switch in the blink of an eye and things could come back down once again. In the past week, it's still down 4%. Past month, 17%. And then on the one-year chart, it is up 668.8% from lows of 241 to those highs of 4,400. And now trading at around that 1,900 area, 2,000 area. We've been bouncing back and forth and we're waiting for that next move up or down uh, you know, following Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin popped here as well towards the um, you know end of Tuesday, beginning of Wednesday morning from this to about 30,000 area, popped up about to almost 31,000 very quickly right there. Very interested to see what's going on. 3% up, uh, market cap 559 billion. So actually guys, some you know big things that are gonna be happening obviously uh, on July 21st. And you know this could be the reason why we potentially see this uptrend. Well, Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, Kathy Wood to discuss Bitcoin at the B word. So, you know, that's what's going to be happening here on uh, July 21st. And that's why we might be seeing a little bit of a push on up here in the crypto space. And that's definitely going to be something interesting to watch, obviously, to see how that's going to unfold on Wednesday afternoon going into the rest of the day. Um, you know, crypto might continue to pump based off of what they say. And obviously what we hear from them. So very interesting to see what's going to happen in the past week. Bitcoin still down 6% past month, 13%. And on the one year chart, obviously still up 230% from about 9,000 all the way to 64,000 here highs and then pullback. Now we've been consolidating for two months now and we're waiting to see if we're going to continue that downtrend or if we're going to have a turnaround. And this could be the thing that we need. We might need some of these big people like Kathy Wood and Elon Musk to start talking again about Bitcoin and different cryptocurrency to get everybody back in. And we might see it, you know, continue on higher. So this could be the big news, guys. We don't know what's going to happen at the event. We're going to keep a very close eye on it and see what's going to happen. And we'll definitely discuss it in the next video as well. So market cap at 559 billion right now with, uh, you know, Bitcoin right there. So, guys, let's see what happens uh, at the event on uh, July 21st. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy this type of uh, content, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, if you want to sign up for Weeble and get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300, links will be in the description for that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.